let's factor these polynomials here. So we're going to pull out at this stage, we're going to pull out what I, famous, I call in class here the GUKUF. The GUKUF. And GCF stands for greatest, that's the G, common factor. The GCF. So in order to do this, we're going to have to look at each one of these polynomials and pull out what's the greatest common factor from them. So in the first instance, let's use this in green here, we have the numbers 12 and 18 as the coefficients to the two pieces of this binomial, 12 and 18. So think about it for a second. Can you think of any numbers that divide in evenly to both 12 and 18? Well, they're both multiples of 6. So 6 is actually the greatest common factor. 2 divides into 12 and 18 also. So if you thought of the number 2 or the number 3, you'd be finding a common factor, but both of those go into 6. So 6 is the greatest of the common factors. For the variable part, we have two copies of n over here and only one copy of n over here. So since we have to be common, we can only take out at most one copy of n, and so that's the common factor. As far as the leftover pieces go, from 12, if we take out 6, we're left with 2, because 6 times 2 is 12. And then although there were two copies initially, we pulled out one, so we're only left with one copy of n. The connector symbol between is a plus sign. And then from the 18n, when we pulled out the 6, 18 divided by 6 leaves me with 3. And I only had one n, and I pulled it out. So the final answer here would be 6n multiplied by 2n plus 3. Let's try another example, get a little extra practice in here. Maybe it would help if I underline them in different colors. We'll do different colors this time. 9u squared, and then maybe we'll put this one in red, 6u cubed. Okay, so first common factor of 9 and 6. 9 and 6 have a common factor, goes into both of them, of 3. Notice that 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into 6 2 times. As far as the variable goes, there is a common u, and notice on the left term there are 2 u's, and on the right term there are 3 u's. So as far as common u's would go, we have a minimum of 2 in common and that's the exponent on our GUKUF, the greatest common factor that pulls out. Okay, what remains inside of the parentheses after this? Well, on the blue term, we had a 9, we pulled out 3, so we're left with 3, and we had u squared, and we pulled out u squared, so there are no more numerical parts left over. There's a plus sign separating the two, and then in red, from the 6, we pulled out 3, 6 divided by 3 yields 2, and we had 3 copies of u, and we only pulled out 2, so therefore we would be left with one single copy of u. Don't forget, we can also test these out by a distributive property. If you just distribute the green against the blue and the red, you should come back to what we had before. Okay, one last example but try this one on your own, and we'll check this one at the end too. So try this on your own and see if you can get it. Assuming you paused the video and, video and gave it a good try here, let me underline again, this time with, uh, let's do the same colors, blue and red. And between 12 and 8, the common factor would be the number 4. 4 goes into 12, 4 goes into 8. 2 also goes in, but 4 is larger. How many copies of x? Well, the least of the exponents is 2, so that's the least of the, that will be the greatest of the common factors because it actually is a common factor of both. The, lar the least exponent will be a factor of both, and we need to be a factor. What's left over? Let me separate it first with that minus sign because I can see there's going to be a minus in between. From the blue part, we would be left with the number 3, because 4 times 3 is 12, and a single copy of x, because we only pulled out 1x, and then on the other part, we'd be left with the number 2, oops, that's supposed to be 
red. And there we go, two, because four times two is eight, and no numerical part whatsoever. So there is our final answer. And just to check it through the distributive property, 4x squared multiplied by 3x minus 4x squared multiplied by 2 would yield 12x cubed minus 4 times 2 is 8x squared. Notice this does match what we had to begin with.